The battle had been lost, but the war isn't over. I won't stop fighting until I take Outworld's throne. That they thought Leitch in prison would hold me is laughable. Once free, I began planning my next campaign. I would need an unstoppable army to overthrow Melina. Unfortunately, most of my former soldiers lacked the courage to rally to my standard. Rebuilding my army would require finding new recruits. And that task is proving easier than expected. Outworld's golden age has left more than a few behind. Without hope, without power, they eagerly heed my call to tear down Molina's government. With General Shao freed from prison, we began raising a new army against the royal family. Though many were eager recruits, few were good at soldiering. It was so bad, the General was forced to change tactics. He decided that we needed a doomsday weapon. That weapon isn't a thing, though. It is a monster. Onaga, the Dragon King. The General told me the old legends were true. That his ancient ancestor defeated Onaga, trapping him deep inside Mount Sagan. The Dragon King is still there today. His pent-up fury waiting to be unleashed. Because Onaga is so dangerous, the General wouldn't risk trying to tame him before. But now, he feels we have no choice. Though I likely won't survive, I accept this mission gladly. I can think of no greater honor than to give my life in the General's service. <laughs> <laughs>